So was it a crack? Or was it frame flex? For the last few weeks, we've been telling you guys about our journey from Arizona to Northern Indiana to take our rig back to the factory, the Alliance factory in Elkhart, Indiana. You know, a lot has happened since the last time I saw you. And we have, we started off in going through Roswell, New Mexico, and it snowed on us. What happened, Hugo? We woke up to snow. <laughs> and then we went to Joplin, and what did we find? My, my, mice's Mice, mouse. Mi mi mice. <laughs> Let's do that again. We headed up to uh, just outside of Joplin, Missouri, and we got a mouse. Yeah. Our first. Yeah. Yeah, we named him Fred. <laughs> no, we didn't. And he's doing great. No. no. <laughs> and then uh, we just kept on going through Illinois until we got to Elkhart, Indiana. And now, had a lot of people have asked us uh, a couple questions. Why are we only traveling on the weekends? Well, that's because we got jobs. <laughs> We need to work, so uh, we can't just move any day of the week. We basically took every Saturday and Sunday for three full weekends driving most of those days to make that amount of a journey to get there on time so that we can make our appointment at the Alliance factory. And you might be asking, why would we take it to the factory and not just find a dealer to get it fixed? Because dealers are... <laughs> Not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> well, we've never taken our RV to a dealer. We've only had it fixed now by the factory and uh, by Mobile Techs. We are a big fan of Mobile Techs. Obviously, this is not something that they could fix. Uh, and just so you don't know, if, in case you don't know, we did have like a five inch crack right below the bedroom slide uh, and it was visible from both the outside and the inside. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Pretty big repair job. It is. And the factory versus the dealer. Dealers, I, I called so many. And they would not guarantee they could get it done in any amount of time. It could sit on their lot. It could sit there being repaired, going back and forth with the factory for parts. And I wasn't going to have it. Because we can't be out of the rig that long. We're full-time. This is our home. Alliance would basically gave us a date. Uh, and now, it was months and months and months in advance, uh, but they gave us a date and they gave us a time frame and they want to stay on schedule so they can get everybody fixed. So we chose to make that drive from Arizona to Elkhart to the factory. So. And they gave us a week. Uh, we hoped that it was going to take a week. Um, there was no guarantee of that. Now, so what my beautiful wife did, she's so smart. She said, why don't we take a vacation instead of staying up in Northern Indiana, which <laughs> the frozen tundra, apparently that's surrounded by trains that go all the time, more on the trains <laughs> later. Um, so we decided to go to Florida and yeah. take a little vacay. So in this video, uh, the rest of the video, we're gonna take you on the journey about how we did all that traveling through all these crazy climates and weathers. Uh, and then got our rig successfully to Alliance and all the things they needed us to do uh, to get it prepped for them. And then we're gonna share with you our time in Sarasota because if you've ever wanted to RV to Sarasota, we got your hookup because we lived there for 16 years. <laughs> and we're also gonna share the verdict. Was it frame flex? Was it just a crack? And what else they found? So stay tuned, we're gonna share it with you. It is a hot mess up in here. <laughs> we are taking the rig to Alliance at 6.30 in the morning. We've had to dump all our tanks, winterize for a week, <laughs> but it is get to, gonna get under freezing, so we definitely needed to do that. Um, we had to clear everything out of the bedroom which was not an easy task. In fact, most of it is in this room in bags and all the clothes are on top of the couch. We have uh, so much in the bathroom. Holy crud, just piles. I don't know if you can see that, just piles of stuff. Um, and tomorrow when we get ready to leave. We should literally be able to get up, throw all of the bedding off the bed onto the couch and uh, grab our suitcases. 
and uh, hitch this baby up, take it to Alliance, and head to the airport because we're going to Florida. <laughs> Who wants to stay in Elkhart in a hotel when you can go visit your mother and your kid uh, in Florida? So uh, that's our adventure. That's what we're doing. It has been a pain. Hugo went to boarding uh, today, and they were super nice. In Elkhart, it's called Countryside uh, Kennels, Countryside Kennels. It's out in the middle of the farmland, and um, they have been sending me daily texts. Well, he just went today, so. Uh, and they, so far, have done a wonderful job. So we will report back if that's a really good kennel that you guys, if you have to go to the factory in Elkhart for anything, then you might want to go <laughs> use them. Uh, but Barry's just finishing up the toy hauler, closing everything up on the outside. And then we're, I guess we're going to sit on our bed all night because that's the only place that we can sit right now. <laughs> but uh, the journey to Elkhart has happened. Now it's the journey to see if the repair can be done in a week. And then uh, how the vacation goes is next. Hopefully we're going to take you along and show you around our city where we live for 16 years. Show you why you definitely want to put Sarasota on your list because it is awesome. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just taking you along for the ride and uh, we'll report back on what happens with the crack. <laughs> Gotta move the shit and tote around. <laughs> Isn't it like the clamp it's at the airport or something? <laughs> so we gotta put the. Ain't no big deal. We're gonna put the boat in the back seat. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help now. You put that camera down now, here. <laughs> Welcome to Sarasota, Florida, a coastal gem about an hour and 15 minutes south of Tampa, where the white sands meet vibrant culture, and where memories are made against a backdrop of endless beauty. For 16 years, we called this place home. Why? Well, it's simple. Sarasota offers the perfect blend of everything we from top-notch schools to a thriving food scene and an arts and entertainment scene that never fails to impress. I'm telling you, many of the country's top-notch musicians move or retire to Sarasota, Florida, including us. For over a decade, Barry's band, Reverend Barry and the Funk, lit up the local music scene, turning out some of the biggest crowds and most loyal fans of the funk. They weren't just a favorite here, but across the entire Sunshine State. I'm very proud of what he achieved in those 10 years with that band. And while we both miss those days and our friends from the band, the full-time RV life called us away, for now at least. Of course, Sarasota's allure extends well beyond the city limits. Just a stone's throw away lies Siesta Key, consistently voted as one of the top beaches in the United States. And every Sunday, locals and visitors alike gather for the iconic Sunset Drum Circle, a celebration of community and rhythm against the setting sun. Weekends are never dull here, especially with the vibrant energy of the Saturday downtown farmer's market. It's a feast for the senses, where produce meets local crafts and the aroma of gourmet delights fill the air. I'm telling you, it's one of my favorites. Our choices for campgrounds in this area are Sarasota Outdoors, Turtle Beach Campground, Mayaka River State Park, and Oscar Shearer State Park. Our favorite was Sarasota Outdoors, mainly because it would fit a rig our size and it has an incredible pool and tiki bar. But there's something for everyone with the RV campgrounds in the area. Sarasota, where every moment is a masterpiece and every day feels like a vacation. Though our journey led us somewhere else, the memories we made here will forever hold a special place in our hearts. No regrets, only gratitude for the years of bliss in this paradise we were lucky to call home. Hey guys, welcome to Nokomis Beach. Um, we are uh, a little more than halfway through our stay and uh, I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on uh, with the crack and the RV being fixed up in Indiana. Um, Barry's out fishing. <laughs> He's uh, borrowed a friend's kayak and is enjoying some uh, uninterrupted fishing time so uh, I thought I'd tell you I could get a call from Alliance and um, there was uh, more than just the crack that was wrong uh, they did and were able to replace the side panel and uh, fix the crack so that's good however they uh, found uh, water damage in our main 
uh, kitchen living area. We had no idea. So it's crazy. We'll get the details when we get there, but apparently they were fixing some other little things that we had listed that were wrong. And when they walked across a certain part of the main living area in the Valor, they found a soft spot. And then when they pulled back, they found water damage. They were going to need, from what I understand, to replace the whole flooring. <laughs> However, the great news is they were able to keep the same time frame and we are not gonna to have to be staying in a hotel uh, for any longer than and we anticipated in the first place. So yay Alliance. Um, we did turn it, the unit in early. We were not supposed to drop it off until Monday, but we dropped it on the Friday before because we needed to fly out. So that did give us a little extra time. So that was good. Uh, no one knew it was there, but Alliance took care of it. So when we get there, um, we'll do a walkthrough and show you um, some of the things they did and, and where maybe that water intrusion came from. We think we might know it was from um, the side patio. However, we did not know it was that bad. So. Uh, they're gonna do some due diligence, figure out where that leak is for us and uh, get that fixed so it doesn't happen again, hopefully. So uh, all is well, uh, enjoying family time here in Sarasota. Um, I'm gonna give you a rundown. I tell you what, if you've never been to this area, uh, Siesta Key Beach is the big draw in Sarasota, but Nokomis Beach, just south of Siesta, to me is the hidden gem. Siesta, you're gonna spend hours and hours trying to get on and off that island. Uh, especially during times of peak summer, spring break, stuff like that, uh, weekends. Nokomis, while it still gets busy, um, it just has a much more laid back, cool vibe. Uh, and it's, it's just a teeny tiny little beach town with some restaurants and uh, there's a lot of rentals here. There is no camping, RV camping, I don't think. Uh, I'll have to look that up for you. But uh, I hope to show you some of the sites and uh, maybe next time you're down in Florida, you'll stop by this area and check it out. What do you think about that snow? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't Florida no more. Oh my gosh. Snow. The verdict is in. Was our crack as serious as it could have been? Was it just a crack? Was it frame failure? The good news is it was just a crack. <laughs> there was, a, it's funny, when we talked to the tech and we did our walkthrough, he explained it how small a percentage of people actually had frame failure. And um, it was just like, no, 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 no. This is a, just a support, it needed more support. And it was simply a crack so that was a relief because so many people and so many channels are talking about frame flex right now it's i think it's on a lot of people's minds and they're talking about it so much we think it's more widespread than it is when it's a tiny little percentage so don't overreact if something like that happens to you um but for us it was great news <laughs> yeah and i mean i did i just i asked the tech straight up looked him in his eye and i said is this frame flex was it a frame flex issue he said no it was not and he explained it to us. Now, they did a huge repair on it. They ended up, as he explained it, it's like really cold and really windy outside right now. So we're not going to go out and show you. <laughs> it's crazy windy here. But uh, anyway, so they apparently like took off the entire side panel, went in and reinforced a butt like some welds and all this stuff. And I mean, I was kind of blown away by what they did as he described it. And then they put the whole thing back together. They even... You know, they had to do all the exterior stuff. They had to redo all the decals and all that kind of th that thing. But it's seamless now. It looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's really impressive. And they even went through and, like, I knew our seals all over the RV needed redone. <laughs> I was, like, dreading it when I came back. They redid a lot of those little things for us that they didn't really have to. And uh, that was the theme of this repair is they fixed stuff. One, we didn't even tell them about. They just saw it and fixed it. Um, and, you know, I was really, really impressed with the whole process. So we're going to show you some of the things that they did in addition to the crack repair. Um, and I just want to give these guys at Alliance kudos because yeah. they did us right. <laughs> okay, so one big thing that did happen, and it was pretty nerve-wracking at first, is we got a phone call as soon as we landed in Florida. Uh, Darlene noticed that she had a number of calls from the factory, like, we really need you to get back with us quickly. We're thinking, uh, that's not good. So uh, we contacted them and they said, well, 
we actually did pull your RV into the into the factory as soon as you guys left. They got they've been working on it, prepping it, and the techs were actually walking across the floor here and happened to notice that there was like a depression in the floor that didn't seem right, and so <clears throat> they they suspected that there was water damage because it it felt soft. Again, we walked through here, you know, tons of times, never felt it ourselves, and so they they basically were getting our permission not to work on it they were because they knew that it could possibly take longer than a week if it was going to be a major repair job they were basically saying you know there's a chance we're going to have to take this longer than a week you guys might have to get hotel rooms you know we still we had our dog in boarding for a week we were going to have to get him yeah, it was going to be a major ordeal if they needed to do it all but of course yes absolutely we need you to work on the floor if there's water damage so we were kind of like our, you know, we were biting our nails throughout the trip a little bit, wondering what was going to happen. The good news was there was just a small section. He said it was just like about a 10 inch square where there was damage, but they were able to essentially repair it um, and just fix the floor. So they, they came in through and of course they fixed everything. Now I, I did, when they told me where the location was, I knew what had happened. And... <clears throat> As you, you know, we do have the side patio, which is kind of a unique feature to this RV. One of the things that happened when we first got the RV is that there was a, there was a seam at the top on the gutter that the gutter kind of, there was like this seam. It's not the gutter. It's actually the thing in, in between it or under it where the water was hitting this little thing. It was actually coming down here and it would just sort of pool up at any time we had a hard rain. And one time that happened, um, and the water came through and, and it was a but it was a, it was a big mess well obviously it had seeped under there we didn't realize that and it caused some damage and so they were able to get up under there and fix everything i haven't looked on the roof to see if they fixed the cause of it hopefully they did um so but we feel very satisfied that they took care of the problem some of the things i just loved that i was so excited when he started going through his checklist of all the stuff that they oh and we noticed this and we noticed that we just went ahead and fixed it and i was like oh hallelujah it's those little things that you've been meaning to get around to and you just haven't like they replaced a bunch of trim pieces that had fallen off like this piece right here uh got caught when i was uh this is a great remember, reminder to you. When you are going to put your slides out, when you just get somewhere, check behind and make sure like your dog's ball hasn't rolled back there because I it did. And then when I closed it, it broke uh, this trim piece. They just fixed it when they saw it. How awesome is that? And then not only that, I mean, there was like staples coming out of the ceiling in the bedroom. They fixed all that, replaced the ceiling panel. Uh, the uh, door to the bedroom uh, closet the doors just weren't lining up right they fixed that so those things just that was just a relief that we didn't have to still figure out how to fix them and then when we got there and he's doing the walkthrough I said oh I forgot to tell you this this shade broke and it, it was like not pulling down on one side he's like got someone on the walkie-talkie she's over with the and she installed it right there while we're doing our walkthrough to pick it up and that is why we picked Alliance. We had heard about this stuff, that the customer service was great. And we've used them just, you know, on the phone, walking through with a tech before. They, they really do go above and beyond uh, to make sure that you're taken care of. And that's why they always say it's on their wall in the factory, you know, do the right thing for the customer. And uh, we really felt after this repair that that was definitely a true statement. How much did it cost us? It cost us nothing. It was now that that might not be the story for everyone. Uh, most of our stuff was under warranty, and if it wasn't, they just fixed it, and that's that's that. So we didn't have any charge for any of the stuff that we had done. Another thing that impressed us with Alliance is that they they had a big checklist. Literally, they just had this big pile of papers, and they had all this paperwork, and had all this checklist and things that they go through um, as a matter of every every rv that comes in there they go through like a safety checklist and they check like your your propane sensors um and then just all this stuff that i didn't really even know that that was a that was a big deal and they just check that all of it works they actually caught a, an issue with the water pump that i didn't realize he explained it to me and well here i'll, I'll explain it to you as he explained it to me he said did you ever have you ever had the water pump seemingly just turn on out of nowhere and then it turns itself off even though nobody's running water. 
I'm like, yes, I, he said, it's a ghost. No, <laughs> that's not what he said, but that's what I thought. Um, he said, no, that's, that's a signal that there's something wrong with the pump. I can't remember what, what, how he explained it, but he said, that's, it's not supposed to do that. And it's, and, and so they basically replaced the water pump. One downside though, they didn't hook it up correctly. <laughs> so we discovered when we, we actually went to the Elks the night after we got the RV, spent the night and we wanted, because it was going to be bitter cold that night, I wanted to use the water in the fresh tank and not run a hose out and uh, went down to run our brand new water pump and it didn't turn on. Um, so turns out it was a simple fix. Apparently they, they didn't hook it up all the way. I guess one of the, one of the positive cables didn't make it, didn't connect probably because the rig didn't have any running water in it at the time. But still, that was kind of a, eh, that was, that was not a great experience. Now I'm having to go in and fix stuff and drill stuff and do all that. But, uh, you know, so I guess it happens. So we actually gave them a checklist of other little things and if they had time, they would tackle those things. I couldn't believe they actually got to some of this stuff considering they found the water leak on the under the flooring and then they had the crack and everything disassembled in the front, but somehow they fit it all in, which is awesome. So one of the big things that was bothering us was this uh, uh, island. The island, uh, I don't know what to call this. I call it a leaf extension uh was basically kind of hanging down like this it would it had pulled away right here from the wood and so basically this support was being pulled out so what they did is they went through and went from the inside and they put new supports in there they redrilled all the screws in i think they put different supports in general but look how solid this is now it's great and it's even so this was a big one. We don't put a ton of weight on this, but we do use it. I take my cutting board and I'll move it over here when I'm cooking and stuff like that. So this was, this was a big fix for the girl who's always in the kitchen. <laughs> so while we are super impressed with the repair we had at Alliance, it didn't go without an issue. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we were literally getting ready to leave the factory. It was closing time at the factory. In fact, there was hardly anybody there and uh was going to hitch up the truck darlene starts pulling in the bedroom slide and it wouldn't pull in it was it had a gap it, it just got to like that much left and it stopped and that's the slide that they had repaired the crack and and everything on and uh he's like oh wow okay let me check it and he need it needs an adjustment or something so he worked on it for a little bit and then some more guys came over i didn't even know where they came from they weren't even in there when we were there uh when we first got there but um it it was problematic and uh obviously they wanted us to take the rig it's friday they're not going to be there over the weekend we needed to take the rig for sure so the guy was like look we're gonna get it go ahead we needed to run and get our dog from boarding so uh we ran got hugo hi buddy oh my goodness oh. <laughs> hold on hold on Okay, okay, get to lovies. And um, came back, but we were still working still on wasn't it. Still wasn't done. Yeah, so we sat there for about another hour or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, they did the right thing. They could have easily said, hey, you know, my guys need to go. I hate to, I hate to ask you this, but yeah. you, can you come back on Monday? That would have been a huge pain. Huge pain. <laughs> um, it would have thrown us completely off because, again, we travel on weekends. We have to work yeah. on Mondays. So um, they didn't, they stayed late, mm -hmm. they got the job done. They had a, probably five or six guys in yeah. there doing the thing. And then there was another issue with actually the, the <laughs> living room slide. Yeah, the couch. Uh, so we got that slide done, it took it in and out, looked good. So I went to close the rest of the rig up. I pulled in the couch uh, fridge slide and it got up. I could tell it was getting really close to the island and it started pushing the island over and I was like, oh my gosh. So I backed it up and I showed him and he's like, we, we didn't even do anything. But he goes, oh, we did. We, we saw that one of, I guess some of the supports are, I don't even know what the slide terminology is. Something had broken under there. So they actually, that was another thing they fixed that they were doing in their checklist and saw and they fixed it. But I think when they did that, they moved the couch so the arm of the couch was hitting 
the uh, island. So really quickly, all these guys run in. They all got their drills out. They're taking them and they moved this, the couch over, readjusted the slide, put it back in and we're finally on our way. But they were, I mean, this there was no one there. They stayed for us yeah. to make, I mean, it wasn't great that they didn't check it beforehand and this was all, you know, it kind of felt like, they, I felt like they missed a checklist somewhere, but uh, they stayed, they took care of it, they got us out of there. Yeah, so word of advice, I guess, would be anytime that you do take something to the dealer or um, to the factory, any any of that, you know, go through and check stuff before you leave. Yeah. Because I mean, if, if it would have been something different that we wouldn't have ever checked before we left, we could have got out on the road or we yeah. could be now or five stay, hours away. stay local for another day or two when they're going to be open <laughs> and make sure everything is on the up and up. Because I'm sure if we were staying there for a week, we could have brought it back and then they would have fixed. There, there's a couple more things that they're going to fix for us when we come back for the Alliance Rally uh, in May. So they're going to take care of us. But overall, great experience. Um, if you, again, people like to know about how these manufacturers work and uh, I, while it wasn't flawless, it was a good experience. It was.